guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. Yeah, it is are. true. We are after a new intro for our little channel. We're going to keep the same music, I think. That is the consensus now. We've got quite a lot of uh, yeah. um, submissions or submissions yeah, yeah, yeah. so far, yeah. haven't we? <clears throat> I just need to get them all together and we can react to what we've got so yeah. far. Yeah, that'd be good. Might give people a taste of what's already been done and then yeah. hopefully some more come in as yeah. well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're going to keep the same music and we just. How does that music go again, Mike? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I must a bit like that. Must got, be if you do the hands, <laughs> I must be doing watching something different. <laughs> <laughs> Don't remember that at all. Yeah, I'm not very good at beatboxing, as we've established. Um, yeah, email us officeboxreact at gmail dot com with your submissions, and uh, yeah, we'll have a poll at some point. We'll have final say, and there'll be a prize for the winner. Simple as that. Okay. Bada bing. Easy. There you go. Right, David Tell, love songs ruin relationships. <clears throat> it's good, David Tell. <clears throat> we've only done one bit, haven't we? Yeah, I do like him though. And he had that, that camera work where the guy was on stage with him yep. and he kept sort of walking yep. around and talking uh, about the guy. Yeah, right, yeah. No, no, no. And I remember him yeah. being really funny, wasn't it? Very, very fast. Yeah, he was good. <clears throat> very quick. Yeah. yeah. Let's go for it. Let's do it then. David Tell, Love Songs, Ruin Relationship. Let's do this. All right. How's it going? Montreal Party Town. You know what? This town could really use another strip club. I think that would help things out. <laughs> I went about a block and a half without seeing one. I got a little nervous. <laughs> you guys love to drink. I'm into that, man. I like this new local drink. What is it called? A lot? I think that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little drinking tip. Never get drunk when you're wearing a hooded sweatshirt. Because you will eventually think there's someone right behind you. <laughs> I had a little trouble getting into the country. In fact, I got stopped at the airport. In fact, I have a new nickname at the airport. They call me Random Bag Check. And um, I've been traveling all over, and I'll tell you, one of my favorite places is Mexico. Have you guys ever, Mexico? It's kind of like here, but it's a little more fun. You know why? Because they have something down there that we don't have here. It's called no laws at all. <laughs> and laws always get in the way of fun, you know? Like, here you go to a doctor. In Mexico, you are a doctor, and I think that's great. <laughs> so with all the traveling and drinking and stuff, I really don't work out or anything like that. I know a lot of comics talk about it. They're always telling you you should jog and things like that. I don't jog. You know why? Not because I'm against jogging. It always seems joggers are the ones that find the dead body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You never find a dead body when you're sitting at home eating ice cream, watching porno. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Joggers and dog True walkers. That. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's yeah. not wrong. My uh, my bro, my dad went for a walk on the beach when we were on holiday as kids, and um, they saw what they thought was a seagull at the bottom of some cliffs, but it was getting their attention, so they walked over to it, and a guy had fallen off the cliff the night before, oh. about a hundred foot. He'd been on the rocks all morning, uh, all night, and all morning. Yeah, and all he could do was just just that until they saw him so they uh they obviously went and tried to make so sure there was waves on the rocks waves on the rocks oh. <laughs> tide was out um but then a jogger goes past and they say to the jogger you need to go and get some help you know we'll stay with the guy and make sure he's okay yeah and uh yeah so the jogger jogs off jog on as you can imagine yep goes and gets help helicopter comes news crews come and then the jogger is the one doing interviews with the local news saying, yeah, I found him. I uh, <laughs> took all credit for it. Good job with the cyclist there. He did took the credit. <laughs> he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. vegan <laughs> cyclist. Yeah, he did it from the, uh, the jogger. Yeah, the guy had got pissed the night before, had an argument with his missus and gone and sat with his legs dangling over the edge of a cliff just to unwind. I'm going to jump. Yeah. No, I think he was just like, just sat there and yeah. then nodded off. Oh, just went oh man. Survived. Yeah. But yeah, so. very, very lucky by the song, isn't <laughs> so it? He, How does he tell the story about that? Can you imagine that? I don't know. We <laughs> <didn't>... <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no follow-up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but the jogger didn't find the guy, but the jogger took all credit for finding the guy. So if you are that jogger and you're watching us, I'm on to you. Imagine the guy they found ain't jogging anywhere. No. <laughs> they find the dead body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You never find a dead body when you're sitting at home eating ice cream watching porno, you know what I'm saying? And I know you like porno. <laughs> Talk more about porn, you got it. <laughs> Some people are against it. And I say, hey, Oklahoma. Whatever a man and a woman and another woman with a penis and a midget that do a parrot, that's their business. <laughs> 
I can't help it if I like parrots. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Parrot's my favorite pet. I want a parrot. You know why? I won't teach him dirty words or songs. I'll teach him things I should know. If I had a parrot, I'd use him more like a palm pilot. <laughs> I would teach him phone numbers and addresses or just things that could help me in a crisis. You know, like, in case of an earthquake, get in the doorway. <laughs> No one has freckles on their ass. Use a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Talk more about condoms? Okay. <laughs> Fellas, never let a woman put a condom on you, okay? Do it yourself. Because when a lady does it, it can be embarrassing. It's like, oh, look. Oh, look, there's still more room. <laughs> <laughs> tie it off and use it again and again. <laughs> wow. Every man wonders about his size, right? Laying a bit alone at night or in a hammock with a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Start thinking, do I have a really small, uh -huh, or just gigantic legs? I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, there's a test. The first time you show it to your girlfriend or doctor or press it up against a bus window or something like that. <laughs> when someone looks at it for the first time, you want a reaction. You want some excitement. You want another language, if possible, like, Santa Maria! Ay, papi! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. That's good. <laughs> But if someone looks at it and the first thing out of their mouth is, oh, <laughs> not good. Time to buy a Corvette. Well, <laughs> now ladies, is it really the size of a man's penis that matters, is it? Well, the whores have spoken. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I love it when comics do that. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. someone's going to jump in. No, yeah. Yeah. Don't say anything at that point. You know what's coming yeah. right behind it. Yeah. yeah. This is good, isn't it? Oh, it's funny. Do you know what I like? The randomness of just things, you know, when you press it up against the bus window. Yeah, it's, I, I so know, random. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's that kind of like deadpan, blase mm. attitude to some yeah. of the things. As if it's says, real. It? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's funny. It's, it's fairly quick fire again, though, isn't he? He's, yeah. you know, he really keeps going, doesn't he? Yeah, and he's a great jokes out. He really is. I think that, yeah. uh, what, talk more about condoms? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then, exactly. Like, that's good, that. I've yeah. never seen someone do that yeah. as yeah. a segue. I think that's awesome. Well, the whores have spoken. But... <laughs> some women say yes, some women say no, it's how he uses it. How he uses it. What is this man doing with this magical penis? Is he building things and fighting terrorism? What is he doing? A gazebo, how did that get here? <laughs> Whatever happened to love, huh? Huh? Don't you ever wish you could make love to the first person you ever made love to again, just to show them how good you got at it? <laughs> hey, look who's not crying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think ruins all these relationships? These love songs, right? It's all about falling in love and falling out of love. What about the middle times of just being with someone? Hour after hour, day after day, for years on end. I want to hear those tunes. Songs with titles like, Hey, how long does it take to pick out a pair of shoes, bitch? What's going on in there? <laughs> hot, top, top. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is I really miss my dad. I really do. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, it's when you're young, you think your dad's Superman, and then you grow up and you realize he's just a drunk who wears a cape. Well, there you go. <laughs> what? Have I ever shaved my pubic area? <laughs> my pubes, everyone, okay? Not because I wanted to. I was involved in a horrible gum accident. Now, it was horrible. Rather not talk about it. Fellas, if you shave your pubes, you better shave your whole body, because nothing looks weirder than a hairy gut, hairy legs, and nothing in between. <laughs> it looks like a garbage fire broke out on your nutsack. My best friend is a midget. Now, <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> we do everything together except seesaw, because that really wouldn't be fair. To him. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll tell you, <coughs> being a friend, you know, sometimes you gotta lie. Like, will he ever live his dream of being a weatherman? I doubt it. Because <laughs> no one will ever believe a midget weatherman. A flood is coming. Yeah, to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys have been a blast. Yeah, funny that guy. That was great. Though. David Tell. Really, really like enjoyed him. that. Yeah. That really, that, really good. That midget oh, bit. I feel it's, like he could have. There could have been ten minutes there, oh, yeah, and there yeah, probably yeah. is. Yeah. There's probably a full special. But that was like he was going on to different subjects dead quick, wasn't he? Yeah. Which is great. He wasn't sort of like lingering too long on no. something. He was going on to something else. Mike, like, I was just really say, fresh. Different type of comedy. Oh, yeah. absolutely, uh, massively. Yeah. He was telling one after the other story after comedy joke yeah. story joke yeah. story. You know, taking a piss out of someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, funny. I like. Mm. I really do That's, like. Him. Better than the first time I've seen him, that I thought yeah. was really good. Really liked it. He might just be the king of segues yeah. in comedy. Based off watching that, it was, it was just just it, the way he changes subjects but keeps it relevant. And it, it's actually part of the joke that he's changing yeah. subject. Yeah. It was perfect, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Spot on. Absolutely spot on. That, yeah, the midget one with the seesaw. I mean, that's, what a great line that is. <laughs> See, if you're I. You're going to use that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know none of us have got aspirations as such to be on stage being comedians, although I think it'd be it'd be an amazing thing yeah. to do. There's no way I would not rip off by mistake. What? Talk more Everything. about that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that. Yeah. I think subconsciously I'd just go to that. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just great. It's, like it's I say, all around great comedy with David Tell. Yeah. You get a bit of everything and it's... Uh... Yes, it's top class. You know, we were, talk- Spot on. we were talking yesterday about there's not a lot of comedy specials on Netflix that we sort of... Mm. Would sway David towards. Tell's on there. Is David Tell mm. on there? I didn't mm. know that. Um, I went on Amazon Prime last night and looked for comedy specials, and I watched. Um, oh, what's his name? He's it's like we've seen him on like Opie and Anthony and Jim it, Norton. Jim Norton. Oh yeah, that's the one. I watched about half of a Jim Norton Little special. Uh, no, it was well. It was I think it was from 2012. It literally started off with him doing like an interview and like Ozzy Osbourne's in the beginning mm. of it. And then his girlfriend's in the beginning of it, and it's just this really fit, naked woman in the background. I think Jimmy is very, very well known for paying for his girlfriends. Yeah, well, yeah, then, like... I think that was the joke. But then she turns around and she's got a cock and balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, yeah. well, she's naked. He starts snogging her, and yeah. then it's like, right, t- you know, he's, like he's an absolute beast of a he's savage. I, I was I've in stitches. I've met Jimmy Norton. Um, told you, at Rascals, yeah, in Eaton Town, New Jersey, and he was when he was first starting out. Yeah, and he was in the toilet, we're having a chat in the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's bad. Yeah. I, well, I gathered from watching mm. the special, but it seems like Amazon might have better comedy specials. They might have a well, wider have a reach of comedy specials. I do like Jimmy specials. Norton. Yeah. And, uh, he's on the list, Jimmy Norton. We did a bit. Yeah, we yeah. Everything, yeah. yeah but that, yeah. I, I was really enjoying that. Yeah, I don't think well. so, seem to have done any for ages. I think, I think when Opie left the Opie and Anthony show, I think Anthony Cumia went with uh, Jimmy Norton. I think it became, right. that was their show then. Right. right, okay. I think Anthony did it with Jimmy Norton. I don't think the Jim Norton one we did, did very well. I think that's why we. You know, he was in well. power. He was the vicar in power, or the priest, or whatever. I didn't watch power. Mm. No, I didn't see he was that. the priest in power. Right, mm. fair enough. So he started right. to do a bit of acting as well. So. Yeah, well done, Jimmy. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, David Tell, really top class comedian. Yeah, I think. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget, like and subscribe as well, please. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers. guys.